My name is Julio Clavijo Alvarez. I was born in Colombia, South America. I trained at the University of Pittsburgh, one of the biggest training centers in the country, and a board-certified plastic surgeon. Migraine is a disease that is very close to my heart because my mom suffered with it. I had the opportunity to train with one of the persons who created a series of surgical procedures to improve it. I was able to correct my mom's problem and help many other people in the road. My name is Kristen. I started coming to Renova Plastic Surgery about a little over a year ago. I came for my migraines. Um, I've had them for 14 years. In the same way that I saw my mom suffer with migraine headaches, I can see how many patients cannot do normal things that we do. Migraine surgery in well-selected patients might be the tool that will help you to recover your life. I would call off work. They were very debilitating. I would lay in bed all day in a dark room, wouldn't be able to get up. The next day I still had a headache. It wouldn't go away. No matter how much medicine I took, it just didn't fix the problem. I went to a lot of doctors to try and find relief. I, they would just prescribe me more medicine or up the doses on my medicine, never asking me where or how they were, just to try and get rid of them. And then I came here and he asked me all the kinds of different questions I've never heard of just to pinpoint where they were and how bad they were on a scale of one to 10. I had several years with the treatment of migraine headaches. Many of my patients have successfully improved their condition after failing traditional treatments. The first appointment I had with Dr. Clavijo, he asked me where the migraines were. And I was like, well, they're just anywhere. It's my whole head. And he'd be like, well, point to them. I didn't know how to do that. So a month went by and he had me taking pictures of where my migraines were. He'd be like, okay, just point to your forehead, like they're right here. Or use both hands and they were like on my temples. Or, and I would just take pictures and I've never had to do that before. There are multiple things that can be done for migraine patients. Either medications, Botox, and now surgery is available. Surgery is only reserved for those patients that have failed treatment with medications or Botox. So. Once I pinpointed everything and he seen they were behind my eyes, well within the eyes, he looked at my nose. No doctors looked up my nose before. And he said that I had blockage and I was like, okay. So I got a CT scan, he seen that my nasal septum was crooked and so we decided to take it out. And it was about a week of recovery, it wasn't bad at all, um, not really painful or anything. Migraine surgery was inspired by the execution of cosmetic procedures in the face, facelifts, eyebrow lifts, blepharoplasties. By accident, it was discovered that the compression of the nerves was the solution to the problem. So Dr. Clavijo, he's very friendly. Um, anytime you have a question, he gives you your cell phone number. He called me after my surgery just to check on me to make sure I was okay. Um, a week later, he even called me. After I got my Botox, he called me. He if I have a question, I can call him. It, he's very attentive. Any questions you have, he answers them with more explanation. So you're very understanding the procedure that's gonna happen. He's just very kind-hearted. My mother suffering from migraine headaches that inspired me to find new ways to treat this devastating condition. Dr. Kabijo had me keep a log for one month and I had 18 migraines in one month, and I had no idea I was having that much or laying in my bed that much. And it's a really nice relief to have my life back and not get them nearly as much as I did before. 